on the speakers Fist bump, pump, pump a bad blood through the speakers Bad blood, a bad blood There's about to be a massacre, so hold up So today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a kit I recently picked up, a socket set um, from Matco Tools. Um, this is the socket sensor set. Um, this is a three-piece set. Um, you guys are looking for the part number. It is SS3K. Um, we'll show that there. So I picked this set up recently um, for a, probably about a couple weeks ago from my Matco guy um, just because I needed the sensor sockets. Uh, for a couple different jobs that I knew I had and uh, couldn't get by without them and uh, I got a really awesome deal with my tool guy um, This set right here goes for about 40 bucks on the truck and I picked it up maybe for like 30 bucks uh, with the truck um, So let's get into it. Um, it comes in a nice blow molded case um, It's a pretty decent little case a little hard case um, comes with a little lifetime warranty card um, comes with a little foam shield here and you get three sensors uh, sockets um, you get the chrome um, they're all the same size so they are the 22 millimeter or 7 8 um, they all have their individual order number on them so you guys can go through and um, actually order it so this one right here shows SS3K-01 um, the next one will be SS3K-03 and the same thing for this one except 02. Um, now that you get three different um, sockets in this set, um, like I said, you get three different ones, and this one is for your standard um, sensors, uh, maybe some that are a little bit taller, um, and you need to get on them, um, or if they're a little bit shorter, and you can get on them. This is the chrome one, um, and you can also put a wrench up here at the top. Um, so if you got one that's pretty um, hefty on you, you need to get a little bit extra uh, torque on it, break it loose right there at the top, or you can use a 3 8 ratchet, um, just like so. Attach it to the top, attach it to the top, and release. Uh, should do the job. You can put probably a good 3 8 on it. Uh, so if you're in those tire spots, though, um, a, a socket like this um, that has an opening as well for the split opening, um these also all these sockets here do have a lifetime warranty as well um so that's definitely a plus um i like i said i've got a pretty good deal on all these um this one has the 3 8 drive hole um so you can use it your ratchet there um and put it on like so and use it that way um so if you definitely got a ratchet and you need a tight spot like so just like that uh, and the same thing with this one this is a half inch drive though but it also if you're using something that you need extra torque on and you get it into a tight spot you can see it's got the star on it um, so you can get it into a different angle so whatever angle you need um, you can definitely get into a little bit better angle so if you can't get it at a certain angle or whatever the uh, socket may be sitting a little bit differently um, so you'll be a little bit better off using this one if you need it um, on a half inch but most the other two are 3 8 drive um, or you can use the chrome one that has the uh, nut at the top and you can use a wrench or a possibly a uh, adjustable wrench and help it that way for a little bit extra leverage uh, but these are just basic we've all probably seen your basic uh, O2 sensor sockets or sensor sockets um, these are all the same size. Um, they're 22 or 7 eighths. Um, I picked these up, like I said, for 30 bucks. They normally go for about 40 bucks off the tool truck from Matco. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can go online and check these out if you guys want to order them or maybe check out with your Matco guy if you've got one and uh, maybe check them out. Um, these are pretty, like I said, lifetime warranty, 30 bucks. Uh, most places you're probably going to spend maybe 15 to 20 bucks per socket. Um, like I said, I've got a pretty good little deal on these uh, for what they're worth, plus a little uh, blow molded case uh, for a hard case to keep in your box. So you, if you want to, you can keep them separate from other sockets. Say if you, you've got specialty sockets or whatever, you can use it that way. 
Um, but like I said, these are pretty decent sockets for what they are. Um, I've used them a couple of times already. Um, I used the smaller one um, for one or a couple jobs. I haven't used a bigger one yet, um, but I have used all the same styles before. Um, but I had to have some to replace my old ones that were worn out and I couldn't use them anymore that were Harbor Freight. So I went ahead and stepped up to the Matco, got a really good deal on them. And uh, they're doing the job really well, so I can't complain for the money. And excellent tools for what they are. Um, I wanted a bigger set, but this was the best set I could get at the time. And an excellent deal on them. I appreciate everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the video and uh, my channel. Give a good thumbs up on the video if you like it. Thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time, guys. Keep on wrenching.